The cicadas are coming. The cicadas are coming. There is a lot of frustration and fear around the emergence of this year's cicada population as they come out of the ground like little alien beings. But how does that affect wildlife, specifically wild turkey? As I'm sure you have heard, we have two very large broods of cicadas emerging in the USA this year, with an estimated billions of them coming out in 17 states. Well, somebody is happy, the wild turkey. Studies have shown that the wild turkey benefits immensely from cicada eruptions, as do many other species. Wild turkeys are omnivores that eat insects. They typically forage in the early morning and evening. However, I have seen them out in the fields during the day. I do have a popular video on them if you would like to learn more about their habits and life cycle. As I mentioned in that video, I participated in a repopulation program back in the early 90s on my Kentucky farm and have been fascinated by wild turkeys ever since. Hi, I'm Amy. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to see you. If you are returning, thank you and glad to see you again. I'm a teacher, environmental educator, and author. You can check out my wildlife and organic gardening books, which are linked below. Wild turkeys are most abundant in the eastern United States. Periodical cicada populations are also located predominantly east of the Mississippi River. Perhaps the geographical distribution of turkeys is partly due to the presence of these key insects. Some research has shown that as few as 23% of poults, young turkeys, survive the first month of their lives. This is very low survival rate and is of concern to turkey conservationists and there's evidence of a declining wild turkey population in some U.S. states. During a cicada emergence year, the wild turkeys thrive. Their productivity has been recorded to dramatically increase by 83% during an emergence year. The turkeys have an abundance of food and expend less energy foraging. If you are interested in reading the studies, they are in my blog article, which I'll link below. In addition, turkeys nest on the ground and the nests are preyed upon by many small mammals. Raccoons, skunks, and opossums will nab turkey eggs and even young poults. However, these predators that normally feed on poults and eggs are full from consuming cicadas and pose less of a threat due to an ecological term called predator satiation. Basically, they fill their tummies with the insects, so don't bother as much with turkey eggs, babies, or adults. Many animal species also time their reproduction to coincide with cicada emergence, allowing them to feed more of their young successfully. Scientists have even been able to trace increases in other animal populations to the appearance of cicadas. Also, because the turkeys don't need to roam as far to forage, they are less prone to predation during a cicada year. Why should I protect cicadas? You may ask. They are loud and creepy and just gross. Destruction of their woodland habitat has caused some po cicada populations to disappear from some states. This loss of habitat can be from forest fires, deforestation, urbanization, and just natural tree pests and diseases. Due to their long life cycle underground, cicada nymphs are exposed to changes in the soil. Pesticides and sewage affluent can be damaging as well as soil erosion and nutrient leaching. Fewer cicadas means less food. We all know how frustrating it can be not to be able to catch something. Cicadas also provide other environmental benefits, such as aerating lawns, improving water filtration into the ground, and adding nutrients to the soil as they decompose. Spraying chemicals on your lawn is not only bad for you and your family, but has consequences across the ecosystem. It is detrimental to the insects and the pretty songbirds, as well as wild turkeys, who more and more live in urban areas. Wild turkeys are becoming more common in urban areas. 
I took this video at the monastery near my home, which is surrounded by a suburb. As nature areas become more condensed, food sources become more valuable. If cicadas were to die out, wild turkey numbers would struggle to survive. Research has shown that the population boom of cicada predators following an emergence is short, about one to three years. However, more vulnerable species, such as wild turkey, may find itself overpredated and overhunted relatively quickly. The wild turkey has already come back from the brink of extin extinction within the U.S. once, so we need to do everything we can to preserve this ecologically and culturally important bird, and thriving cicada numbers are a way of doing that. Thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate your support, and I hope you have a wonderful sunny day.